Welcome back everyone. This is chapter 10. We are going to learn about network bonds. In Red Hat Linux 7, we have the feature of bonding and on more advantages we have teaming. In this chapter, we are going to only see about the bonding. Later we can uh, look into the teaming in the next chapter, chapter 11. Uh, so how to form a bond? What is bonding? Actually, the meaning bonding is just combining number of interfaces or something into a single mode. So here we have four number of interfaces. Each interface have one GB of speed. So we are going to combine all the four interfaces into a single interface. The interface single interface I am going to use is bond zero. So that four interfaces are combined into a single interface with the name of bond zero so uh, actually the four interfaces have each have one gb of speed so i am going to get the uh, number of four gb speed each interface is giving one gb so one into four is equal to four gb of speed so this bonding is going to act as a active backup fault tolerance if one interface disconnects from the bond, the other will be alive. So we are not going to disconnect in any case. It's a fault tolerance mode. If one nick disconnects, the other will be available. So let me see how to configure a bonding using NMCLI. Let me list all the devices using NMCLI device. We have four NICs, so here I am going to use only the ENP0S10 and 09 for this demonstration purpose. We can see how to add, add a bond zero interface and we can see how to add a slave device to the bonding. Let me run the command NMCLA connection add type bond. The type of the interface I'm going to create is bond and the name which I am going to give the uh, give to the bond is bond zero. The interface name also bond zero. The mode want to be active backup. So I'm going to list all the available modes here. Just I am pressed uh, tab tab key. So it's listing all the available modes. Yeah, I, in this I'm going to use the active backup. Now the active backup bond was created. So now it's using the DHCP IP. So I want to assign a static IP so that I am going to modify the connection. NMCLI connection modify bond zero IP4 IPv4 address 10.2.20 in the netmask of 24. And I am going to add the uh, method is manual for IPv4 for that NMCLI connection modify bond 0 IPv4 method manual so that IP will be assigned from static which I have assigned about 10.0.2.20 uh, in the range of 255255255 0 subnet MOS so if I am not going to give the IP like uh, using modify modify uh, the IP will be assigned from the DCP. Okay, now let me add the slave device to the bond. NMCLI connection add type bond slave connection name bond hyphen ENP zero yes nine. I am adding this interface into the bond zero. IF name interface name ENP zero yes nine. You want to act as a master in say the bond zero. Okay, its connection added successfully with U8805 F7 something. Okay, I'm going to add one more interface NMCLI connection add type bond slave connection name was bond ENP0 as uh, let me use one nine. Uh, and the interface name was ENP0S10 the master you want to act as a master inside the bond zero it also added successfully 
So the bo uh, I have added two interfaces into the bond zero. Let me bring up the connection NMCLA connection of bond zero. So once I press enter, the bond zero will be up in network. We can now check the status of the bonding. Cat proc net bonding bond zero. So here we can see that ENP zero S nine ST a monster working now it's active backup mode working in the active backup mode and the driver which, which is used by the bonding is ethernet channel bonding driver 3.7.1 and the mode is fault tolerance active backup the currently active slave is ENP 0 S9 and we can see the slave interface ENP 0 S10 is also the uh, if one of the interface disconnect the other interface will be up and running uh, let me check now NMCLA device disconnect ENP0S yes. uh, sorry I'm going to disconnect one of the device ENP0S10 yes, successfully the ENP0S10 yes, was disconnected but it was the active uh, active one is 9 already the 9 was master 1 so there will be no impact still the bonding was working let me connect it and I will disconnect the 9 I have connected so let me check the status now it will automatically come into the bonding once it's connected we don't want to do any other configurations let me disconnect the 0 9 NMCLA device disconnect ENP 0 S yes, 9 now we can see the bond switch to the ENP 0 S10. This is the mode of active backup. This is fault tolerance. If the active one disconnects, the standby slave will be automatically switched to master mode. Let me connect it. NMCLA device connect ENP 09. We can see that still the 10 was active as a master. If the 9 disconnects, the automatically, uh, the 10 disconnect, the automatic 9 will be replaced as a master. So, this is the devices which I have configured. You can see the interfaces name, connection name, everything here. Okay, this is how we are managing the NMCLI command to configure a bridge, or oh, sorry, bonding. Let me see in teaming tutorial soon. Please subscribe to our channel and keep on watching. Prepare for the Red Atlantic section. Thank you, thank you for watching.